Right, in this video, we're uh, going to take a look at how to carry out joins in uh, SQL in R um, using the SQL DF package. Now, uh, we've seen how to do this with the merge statement earlier on, um, and we've seen how to merge using um, either all the things on the left data set, all the things on the right data set, all the things, or just um, rows that are contained in both data sets. Uh, so that's the kind of thing that we're going to take a look at um, now. But we're also going to see a, a slight problem with the SQL package, SQL DF package. First of all, let's lo load in SQL DF. If you haven't installed it already, make sure you install it. Um, there you go. That's all there. And uh, the thing we're going to do this is a little little, little data set. Uh, so owner is going to be a few names of people. Uh, Jeff. Janet, Paul, and Joanna, and then we're going to have the name uh, Rufus, Oops. Rufus, Sam, and then um, NA and NA, so missing, and then dogs is the data frame. Uh, combining this owner and uh, and the name, so let's just run that, and uh, then we'll we'll create another little data set. So owner, uh, C, Jeff, uh, Paul, Joanna, and uh, Vince, and then the name. And then we're going to have um, Kitty. Oops. Kitty. Uh, and A. Tinker Bell. And check. And we're going to call that cats. Data dot frame owner, owner, and name. So let's run that. And let's take a look at dogs. And let's take a look at cats. We got what we wanted there. And so now we're just going to use SQL to join those together. Um, so we're going to do what's called an inner join. In other words, we're going to take, uh, we're going to pick a variable. So we're going to pick, we're going to join on owner and we want to merge these um, to the people that are in both. So we should get Jeff, we should get Paul, and we should get Joanna. Um, but importantly, look, we got name, which is the name of the dogs, the name of the cats. So we have to find a way to make sure that we know which ones are which. So this is the code that does that. So SQL DF, and we want select. Oops, let me put in the uh, make this a string. Remember with SQL DF, you just pass the whole string. So select a dot owner owner. Um, a dot name, and now what we do is we give it the name. So, dog name. So, in other words, we're going to use a as the the, the left data set and the dog data set, um, and then b dot name as cat underscore name. Um, there you go. And then we say from dogs as left join cats. Sorry, from dogs as a, and now we tell it what we want. So we want to left join cats as, uh, oops, sorry, not left join, my mistake. So as cat name from dogs as a, um, cats as b, where owner, so a dot owner, a dot owner equals b dot owner, console owner, and if we run that, we see we got exactly what we wanted, right, so this bit of code is saying, give me all the variables, right, but I'm calling A, the, the data set, um, dogs, so dogs.owner, dogs.name, um, and then B is cats, and then we say, but I want to force A.owner and B.owner to be equal. So that does an inner join. That goes and gets everything from both data sets 
sorry, thing the intersection of both data sets on a particular variable. And that's how we say which variable we want. We want it to be owner. But we can do what's called a left join. Or a left outer join, pardon me. Um, SQL DF. And then the code is uh, very similar, so I'm just going to copy that there. Um, but the only difference is from dogs as A is that here we put as a left join, cats as B, um, and now we say on A dot owner equals b dot b dot owner. Oh what have I made I made a mistake there? No. Oh, got two dot as eight. And now we're saying alright so I've got everything from um, the left joints, so everything from dogs. So Jeff, Janet, Paul and Joanna. Jeff, Janet, Paul and Joanna. And so example uh, we we've got everybody uh, there. Um, Joanna was not uh, sorry, Joanna was Je Jeff, Jan and Paul Joanna, and you don't have uh, Vince, who's in the, the other data set. Now, a right outer join is just a left outer join where you invert the, the order of those things, so you, it's not actually supported in SQL. Um, DF, and finally, full joins, where you take all the variables, is also not supported in SQL DF um, as it stands now. Maybe the developers will, will add that in at some point, but there's not really a demand for it as you can do it very easily with a merge statement. And those are joins um, in SQL in R.